Dushyant Sharma, a 26-year-old residing in Jodhwara, Jaipur, India, lived with his wife, son and parents. Tragically, his parents had previously lost two sons, Piyush, to illness while he was still a toddler and in 2012, they lost another young son, Himanshu, in an accident leaving Dushyant as the only surviving child. Described by his family as a shy yet caring and dutiful son and husband, Dushyant held an average build and was employed as a project manager at a mining company. His wife said, in three years of their marriage, he never said a rude word to me. He pitched in with the household chores and had a knack for cooking. She also noted Dushyant's enthusiasm for exploring new things in life. However, three years down his married life, the novelty and passion Dushyant once felt in the relationship had dried up. Exhausted by the monotony of his everyday life, Dushyant sought an escape by creating a Tinder profile under the alias Vivan Kohli. In his Tinder profile, he pretended to be a wealthy businessman from Gurgaon who had assets in millions. In February 2018, Dushyant, using the alias Vivan, matched with Priya Seet. Their relationship blossomed as they went on several coffee dates. Priya perceived Vivan as a highly successful businessman. While Vivan believed Priya cherished him for who he was and not his money. However, this was further from the truth. But more on that later. On May 2nd, 2018, at 7 pm, Dushyant left his house in his father's Maruti Alto. He told his family that he was going out for work related matter and would be back in an hour. However, he never returned. At 9.15 pm, his father Rameshwar Sharma called his mobile phone but it was disconnected. His phone was switched off right after. At 9.45 pm, his wife called him and Dushyant told her that one of his company's trucks had been confiscated by the police and they were demanding a penalty of 8 to 10 lakh rupees. He said he would return later at night or in the morning. The family kept trying his number for the rest of the night, but it got disconnected every time. As midnight passed without another word from him, his family notified the police. The following morning at 9.45 am, Rameshwar received a ransom call from his son's phone number. Dushyant had been kidnapped. He told his father, send these people 10 lakh or they will kill me. Mujhe bachalo. Please save me. Suddenly, a female voice intervened, issuing a chilling ultimatum. Transfer the money to his account within 20 minutes or face dire consequences. Varna mar dungi main, or I will kill him. Being a middle class family, Rameshwar told her that he did not have 10 lakhs at the moment and needed some time. The woman on the other end asked him how much he could send right away. Rameshwar told her that he only had 2 or 3 lakhs that he could send right away. She told him to send it in 20 minutes or she will kill him. By 12 pm, Rameshwar had wired 3 lakhs to his son's bank account. He sent the receipt of the transaction to his phone through WhatsApp. He called his son's mobile phone but the phone was switched off. Later that night, Rameshwar received a call from the Jodhwara police station asking him to come to the SMS hospital to look at a dead body. The body had been found stuffed in a trolley bag along the Jaipur Delhi highway, horrifically dismembered into several pieces. Despite the gruesome state rendering the identification seemingly impossible, Rameshwar managed to identify the body as his son's by recognizing specific personal items found among the remains, which included sacred red threads, a black amulet and finger rings. Police started their investigation by going through phone records on Dushyant's phone. In the call records, police found a number that he had called several times over the past few days. That number, along with Dushyant's phone number, were in the same location when his phone was switched off. Police went to the location but did not find anyone. However, they found out that two people lived in the house. 
Priya Seth and her boyfriend Dikshant Kamra. Priya Seth was the same woman Vivan aka Dushyant had been dating on Tinder without his family's knowledge. On May 4th, Priya Seth, her boyfriend Dikshant Kamra along with their friend Lakshay Walia were arrested and the truth would soon be revealed. Priya Seth had left one life for another. She was born and raised in a middle class family in a small town in Rajasthan called Falna. Her family lauded her as naturally bright, excelling in academics, dance and debating. Yet, alongside her strengths, they noted her stubborn attitude and quick temper. She just couldn't take no for an answer. She would often cause chaos at home, even breaking things when she didn't get her way. Following her high school graduation in 2012, Priya pursued higher education at a college in Jaipur. Opting for an arts program, she simultaneously attended coaching classes aimed at preparing her for entrance exams into administrative services. Coming from a small town, the vibrant and extravagant lifestyle of Jaipur captivated Priya. Immersing herself in the fast-paced atmosphere, she found herself dreaming of attaining wealth and success in this dynamic environment. The allure of the city fueled her aspirations for a better future. She was receiving 20,000 rupees every month for her expenses from her parents. However, the lifestyle she wanted, 20,000 rupees was not enough. So, she started looking for jobs. As she browsed through newspaper ads, she stumbled upon an agency that was hiring. Upon reaching out, she discovered it was an escort service. They offered her a role to recruit college girls as escorts, promising payment in return. Initially hesitant, she declined the offer. However, upon discovering the lucrative pay involved, she eventually accepted and started working for the agency. Her job involved luring college girls to join as escorts, earning herself a substantial income. Gradually, she developed an addiction to money, leading her to pick up smoking and drinking. Soon, Priya launched her own enterprise, a website offering high-profile escorts to rich businessmen. However, her business did not involve providing escort services. When the clients contacted her on WhatsApp, she sent them some photos to choose from and demanded the entire payment of 25,000 to 30,000 rupees in advance. After receiving the money, she would switch off her phone and vanished. She kept changing her phone number. Her other ploy was to pose as an escort herself. She would meet with clients and get her payment in advance. She would then take her customers over to a hotel room and excuse herself for a moment, claiming she needed to settle payments with her driver, then vanished from the scene entirely. She focused on people aged between 35 and 50, typically married, who feared public shame, leading most of her victims to stay silent after being conned. Although one client did file a case in 2014, she was arrested but was released on bail. She was arrested again in 2014 for attempting to slice open the ATM machine with a gas cutter. However, she was out in a day. In 2018, she started a relationship with her bank manager. At first, she behaved like a typical girlfriend and both started living together. However, she soon started threatening him with false case if he did not pay her 10 lakh rupees. She also threatened his family. The man reported it to the police and she was arrested. However, she was released only a month later. There are problems I am in February 2018, 
Somewhere amid Priya's lust games, she met Dikshant Kamra on Tinder and she would start dating him. They would eventually rent a house together in Gandhi Nagar. Dikshant was a failed model and producer based in Mumbai who was in 25 lakh rupees in debt. To get away from his debtors, he moved to Jaipur. To pay off Dikshant's debt, the couple had planned to kidnap and extort money from someone. It was not decided at the time whom they were going to be kidnapping, but when Priya matched with Vivan, who she believed was a wealthy businessman, Priya suggested they kidnap him and extort money from him. They also asked their friend Lakshay Valya for his help. On 2nd May, Priya called Vivan and told him to meet her at her house, where Dikshant and Lakshay lay in wait. Upon reaching her residence, Vivan was greeted by Priya. She welcomed him inside her home, where the two men jumped him. They tied him up, slipped a polythene bag over his head and thrashed him. Vivan realized he had been set up. Priya told Vivan to give them 10 lakh rupees or they will kill him. Vivan told them that he did not have 10 lakh and that his name was not Vivan, but Dushyant Sharma. He had lied to her about his identity. At first, Priya did not believe him, but after they checked his wallet, they found an ID card and a driver's license that confirmed his name was Dushyant Sharma. Priya came to the stark realization that the supposed wealthy businessman was in reality a middle-class man with a wife and son. Complicating matters further, he happened to be a local resident, making his release a potential threat to their business. They then beat Dushyant Moore and pressured him to call his father and arrange 10 lakhs or they will kill him. During their questioning, the police asked why they killed Dushyant even though his father had transferred 3 lakhs to his account, to which Priya said they had already killed Dushyant before even receiving the money. After the ransom call, the trio realized Dushyant's debit card had a daily withdrawal limit of 25,000 rupees. Fearing that Dushyant's father would alert the authorities, they decided to kill Dushyant. Dikshant Kamra and Lakshay Valya threw him on the bed. Dikshant then sat on his chest and first tried to strangle him with his hands and then suffocate him with a pillow. However, Dushyant survived. Priya then brought a knife from the kitchen and handed it to him. He then stabbed his neck 10 to 11 times. After Dushyant was dead, Lakshay went home to change clothes while Priya and Dikshant cleaned up the crime scene. They went to the market and bought a trolley bag. They then dismembered his body into several pieces and stuffed them into the bag. They then dumped it on the highway. While on their way, they received a call from Dushyant's father on Dushyant's phone confirming that he had deposited 3 lakhs in his account. Prior to the murder, they had coerced Dushyant into revealing his debit card pin. They then went to the nearest ATM and withdrew 25,000 rupees, maxing out the day's withdrawal limit. The trio returned to their room and later that evening, Priya, unfazed by the events, met with a client at a hotel and asked him to pay in advance. She then excused herself with the pretext that she had to pay her driver and left the scene. By the time Priya returned, Dikshant and Lakshay had cleaned up the house and bought a fake number plate for Dushyant's car. They then decided to flee and headed to Gandhinagar railway station, intending to catch a train. However, their escape was cut short as the police apprehended all three. The trio eventually admitted to killing Dushyant. The three of them were charged with kidnapping, extortion, murder and elimination of evidence. As the police entered their house, they found blood splotches all over the house including the floor, bed and the mattresses. Priya apparently loved buying expensive products and it is estimated her monthly expenses amounted to 2 lakh rupees. In her house, police found two expensive branded shoes costing 75,000 rupees and 35,000 rupees and a designer watch worth 45,000 rupees. In subsequent interviews, Priya's brazen demeanor regarding her actions has left the nation stunned. 
Throughout her interviews, Priya displayed no sense of regret or remorse. Instead, she wore a smile and even laughed. When questioned about her involvement in the escort service fraud by documentary filmmaker Deepika Narayan Bhardwaj, Priya defended her actions, referring to her deceit of unfaithful men as a form of social justice that was cut short by her arrest. She boasted of swindling over 1000 clients in past 8 years. In November 2023, Priya Seth, Dikshant Kamra and Lakshya Walia were sentenced to life in prison for the murder of Dushyant Sharma.